What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Bad Dog, back in desperate need of a shave and here with another New York Giants video. Of course, last week, the New York Giants finally got their first win of the season, and it's been a long time coming since we won anything. Felt good to get a W, man. No matter how we got it done, we got it done. Move to 1-2. and two. Looking for the Washington Redskins come tomorrow, 1 o'clock, MetLife Stadium. Feeling good about it, guys. Feeling good about it. This is an opportunity, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but when your team has won eight games in the last two years, getting to 500 is a huge milestone. We have not been at 500 since 2016. And I'm telling you this right now, man. This is a perfect team for the New York Giants to get that done against. We have owned Washington. We have beaten them 24 out of the last 32 times. That includes beating them in 2017 and 2018 when we had two of the worst teams you've ever seen. Washington is all over the place, man. They don't know if they're coming or going. There's all this rift about they wanted to take Dwayne Haskins. They didn't want to take Dwayne Haskins. Case Keenum is banged up. Terry McLaurin's banged up. They don't know whether they're coming or going. They don't know what the hell is going on. There's no direction in Washington. We've owned that team. We're coming off a huge victory. We're coming off a big momentum shift, man. Something that finally went our way. We saw what the rookie Daniel Jones could do. 336 in the year. Four total touchdowns, man. I know Saquon Barkley's not in this game, but he wasn't there in the second half, and we ended up coming back from 28 to 10. I feel good about it. Hopefully the defense can do what it did in the second half against Tampa the entire game because they did a much better job. Get after Case Keenum. Force those turnovers. Bring the blitz. Bring a lot of pressure to Case Keenum. I don't like Washington's offensive line. Eric Flowers is a trash can. He's garbage. He's a turnstile. All you got to do is run stunts up front. We'll go right to hell past him. He stinks. Expose that freaking matchup between Evan Ingram and Landon Collins. Because as Giants fans, we know that guy can't cover a tight end in a phone booth. He stinks. We have the opportunity to go to 2-2. Two and two. This is a perfect opportunity. I know we're going to get this done tomorrow. I know we're going to get it done tomorrow. Start building a winning culture. They talk about culture change in that locker room. That's why they got rid of Beckham. That's why they got rid of Collins. That's why they got rid of Olivier Vernon. That's why they got rid of these players because of a culture change. Well, nothing changes a culture better and faster than winning football games. And that's what this team is going to start doing. We started it last Sunday. We're going to continue that trend this Sunday. I know it, because I know this defense can get after Case Keenum. I know that Daniel Jones is going to be able to have some success in the air, and I think Wayne Gallman can do just enough to keep that balance. He's not Saquon Barkley, but the Giants are going to be able to run a little bit against them. Not a lot. I mean, Wayne Gallman's not going to go up for 100 yards, let's face it. But I think he can do this. And I think that the receiving core with Evan Engram and Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton can do enough. We saw Dak Prescott have a big game against Washington. We saw uh, Carson Wentz have a big game against Washington. So there's no reason to think that Daniel Jones can't come out there and have success. Again, I'm not saying he's going to do what he did last week. And Tampa Bay got after Daniel Jones. Remember that Daniel Jones got knocked down a lot. He got sacked a lot. He's got to hold on to the ball. But he stood in there, showed great resolve. So nothing's going to shake this kid up. This is going to be his first home game. He's going to have that home crowd behind him. And the Giants fans are going to be excited for what they saw. They're excited for their future. So they're going to come out, and that's why we got to go out there and punch them right in the mouth to start. Don't let Washington get up. We got to stop them, depending on who gets the ball first. We got to go down and score, get that crowd on our side, keep it up, get that crowd in the game. Don't let, don't let Washington have any momentum. Get out there, punch them right in the mouth, and then step on their damn throat when they're down. That's what we got to do. Don't let them in this game at all. Just go out there and dominate. Just do what you did last week in the second half. That's Giants football. That's what we need to do. We can do that. We saw that we can do this. We can win football games. We can stop them on defense. We can move the ball in the air. We saw all this against Tampa Bay, and we're going to see it tomorrow against Washington. The New York Giants win this game 30-23. to We go to 2-2, two and two, and then we look forward to Minnesota. Let's get this done. Let's go G-Men, baby. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. It is bad dog, and I am gone. Peace.